envy y'all. What's the right thing to do? Y'all, it's Taco Tuesday. we are done this is the final look of this unit so you guys did send me over this pre-plucked pre-bleached lace cut glueless wig it is 24 inches it is straight brazilian hair you guys if you saw the clips of me brushing this hair out it did not need to be flat ironed the only reason i flat ironed it is because that's what i'm used to doing is flat ironing my hair but you saw it it literally was bone straight right out the package and it's still bone straight do you see how silky look at the sheen of this hair perfect y'all i literally put this unit on in less than five minutes i put a little bit of powder on my wig cap a little bit of powder on the inside of the lace I cut my baby hairs. I put just a little bit of gel right up here just to give it that sitting back look, that brushed back look off my face. And that's it, y'all. That is it. It has little tape tabs at the ear that feel very secure. There's no glue right here or anything. It's just the tape. It feels very secure. It does not feel like it's gonna come off. And y'all, this wig was just so easy to do. Like, it's really not that much to even talk about because it was so straightforward, beginner friendly. It just looks so good on my head. It's very flat. 
the parting that already came with it was perfect all i did was use my hot comb to flatten it out a little bit i did not have to cut the hair the ends of the hair are still nice and thick as you can see that it's not thin and straggly at all this is the length on me literally comes past my waist it's sitting at the top of the booty so it's super long this is a true 24 inch unit wouldn't it be cute to have like a little half up half down yeah it's a lot you could do with this hair but just the fact that it is so straight you don't need to do anything to it you guys check out you nice hair you definitely need this unit if you are in the market for a straight wig all the details will be down below the links to everything as well as the coupon code so you guys check out you nice hair and get you a nice new unit hey y'all happy monday yes i am still in my house clothes my bonnet yeah because i just got in town last night and when i tell you i'm tired i was tired i, I slept most of the afternoon clearly but i did work, wake up and have to get some work done but y'all I was tired. So don't judge me for looking like this on a Monday afternoon, okay? I'm about to just make myself a bowl of soup and then just get out and run a couple of errands. I wish they came in low sodium, but y'all know these uh full of sodium. But anyways, I really don't have much to do today. I didn't put anything on my plate just because I knew I was getting home, you know, a little late last night. And then I had to edit for hours last night. I edited on the plane. Then I got home and had to edit for more hours. I had to wake up this morning. Ooh, this look good. Hopefully it tastes good. It look good. Ain't much uh, sausage in it, but we'll see uh yeah y'all so that's that but we're about to eat and i'm gonna try to get out the house possibly maybe i want to go to the gym but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to work it in i i don't know and i did come home to a clean house y'all gonna deep clean on your house well not let me not say a deep clean i just a regular clean all the dishes you know bed was made up Floors cleaned, everything nice, house smelling good. That's what I like to come home to because it's less stressful. And y'all know I really ain't been um, unpacking really quick when I go on my little trips. Baby, as soon as I came home last night, that's why I was up so late. I was just being a busybody. I be feeling like I just gotta get so much stuff done. As soon as I came home, I start unpacking, separating laundry. So what's new? Nothing. I did vlog all last week. I said that I was going to try to vlog for a week, take a week off, vlog for a week. I only way I'd be able to do that is if I get ahead of the game and get a lot of footage in. I'm not. So clearly here I am back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I'll be saying stuff like that sound nice. That sound nice to do and they can't do it. I need to heat it for a little bit longer. Yeah. It's okay for what it is. It's all right. Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened when I was out of town. Y'all let me know if I did the right thing or not, or um, how y'all would have reacted, okay? Me and my dude have just been bar hopping, club hopping, whatever, and I said, I want to end the night going to like a real hip hop black club, 
lounge, bar, whatever. Cause in Tennessee, you know, even though um, Nashville is a music city, most stuff is like jazz and blues. Um, we did see a live singer. She was singing nothing but R&B, which I love. I love the mixture of everything, getting to see the live bands, getting to see the live singer singing R&B. I like the mixture of everything, but it's like, let me mix in a little wretchedness too. You know, he said, I know of this little spot. A friend of mine's been here before. We can go check it out. It's just really, really small. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Yeah, let's just go check it out. We get in there. We in there all of five minutes. Didn't even make it to the bar yet, okay? Five minutes and somebody slaps me hard as hell on my ass. So I'm standing behind my boyfriend because we're, we're in front of the bar. Of course, there's people around the bar, so we got to wait our turn before we can just Debo up, whatever. So he's in front of me. I'm standing um, literally right behind him. I'm right at his back. Dude smacks the shit out of my ass, okay? So I told my boyfriend, let's go. He was like, wow, what's up? I was like, let's just go, let's just go. And he was like, okay, come on, let's go. So we get in the car, and he was like, why you rush out? We was only in there for like four minutes. I said, a dude in there slapped my ass. And he was like, who? And I'm like, it's not important. Like, it's it's not important. So, and he didn't understand why I didn't tell him in the moment. He's just like, why would you not tell me? So my reasoning for not telling him is, for one, interracial couples, if you've never been in an interracial relationship, it's weird. Everybody stares at y'all like y'all are foreign. Like, you go into a place that's predominantly white, everybody's staring you go into a place that's predominantly black everybody's staring when it's like the mall where it's like a mixture of everybody nobody really pays attention but i've noticed in those two settings it's like people just like they just looking they staring and it's it's weird to me i'm just like okay whatever you know and I've been in so many interracial relationships. You know, Ethan Nash's dad's Hispanic. It just, I don't know why I just never get used to it. I just never, I never get used to being gawked at. But anyway, that's the vibe. When we had walked in there, everybody was staring. There was a big group of dudes um, behind us. And I feel like, this is my opinion, they was trying to test my dude because he's white. That's what it is. That's what I feel like it is. I mean, they didn't test him hard enough because he didn't even see. He was look at the, you know, he about to order some drinks at the bar. He wasn't, even, he wasn't paying attention, and I'm, like, a little bit behind him. I just feel like me telling him in that moment could have ended really bad. Like I said, it was a group of them. It was one of those hole-in-the-wall hood spots. They did not check your pockets. It was no security guard checking purses, wanding dudes down. It was none of that. It was you just literally walk in the door. I don't even think they checked our IDs. We just walked straight in. It was one of them type of spots. We ain't got spots like that in Houston. In Houston, you gonna get you gonna get checked at 99% of the spots you go to. Some type of way. Um yeah, so I'm like, they could have had some on them. If my dude had to turn around, they could have jumped him. If I had to turn around with an attitude and try to slap them and get all in their face, everybody in there, it, if y'all ever been to like a hole in the wall spot, it's one of those that I'm quite sure everybody knows. Everybody, we're the outsiders, you know. I might be going off and then do my God, three sisters that's sitting on the other side of the bar. I get beat up. It was just like, it was so many scenarios that could have happened. I'm like, I'm not even going to deal with this. I'm not. I'm I'm going to cut it off before it could even turn into anything. It's the second it happened, I told him, let's go. I'm ready to go. So, y'all let me know what y'all would have done in that situation. When I was younger, I probably would have turned around and said like, nigga, don't touch me. Who you touching? Da, da, da. I probably would have. Because when I was younger, I really didn't think of consequences. I did a lot of dumb things and didn't think of consequences. Now, 
what I know, what I have seen, experienced, I'm, I don't even want the smoke. I don't want none of it. I don't want to be in jail while I'm out of town. I don't want to get beat up. I don't want to get potentially shanked and whatever. Worst case scenario, I don't want that to happen to me, to my dude, to nobody, you know, so... I don't know. He really wanted, he really was just like, I wish you had told me, you know, when it happened so I could have said something. I'm like, see, that's what I don't want. That's what I don't want. He was like, but let me make that decision. I'm like, well, let me make the decision. It wasn't an argument or anything. He actually thanked me. He was like, well, I, I thank you for having a level head. He was like, I probably would have overreacted. So I was like, I know. Yeah, I know. So anyway, what y'all would have done? Y'all would have uh, slapped the dude, got all in his face. Y'all would have told y'all man right when it happened so he could have addressed it. What y'all would have did? I told y'all I'm not a fighter. I am so unconfrontational. I am, I am a lover, not a fighter. Please give me peace, happiness, rainbows, and flowers, okay? If I can avoid any type of situation that could turn out... I mean, you know, I bet there's so many people in this world that's in jail that's dead, that's just was like, I overreacted over something so small. I overreacted and and did something not threw my life away, you know. But anyway, y'all let me know. And y'all, this that, that soup, look at all this wasted. All the meat has been eaten out of it. And this is what we left with. I'm not eating this. This is... Mm-mm. The flavor was kind of good, I would say. Like I said, it was all right for what it is for Campbell's. It's a machine making gumbo. It ain't like your, your, your granny's gumbo, you know. It ain't even like that Jason's Deli gumbo. Be getting, that Jason's Deli gumbo be getting is so good. You would think somebody's Creole uh, great-grandmother is back there making it. It's, it's really good. To say that it's from a chain uh, restaurant, Jason's Deli gumbo is very good. It is 2.34. It would be nice if I can get out the door in the next 30 minutes. Run a couple errands. Ethan starts track today, so I need to find him some track shoes. This boy sent me a link to some track shoes that cost $160. Uh-uh. For you to be running track for, what, two months? And then by the time track season comes around again next year, you have outgrown them? No. Let me go to Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx. They sell Nikes in them stores. Let me try to find a reasonable price shoe first. Then I'll probably go to the Nike outlet or the Nike clearance store rather. Cause y'all know we have Nike outlets and then we have Nike clearance store. The Nike outlet, you probably save about, you probably save about 30% maybe, 25, 30%. But the Nike clearance store, oh baby, you're saving like 50 to 75%. So yeah, it's, it's worth the little 45 minute drive. I probably won't do it today. Well, if I did, it would be later in the evening. Um, because I have to go to a meeting at 5.30, the uh, meeting for track. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow if I can get in bed at a decent time today. Plan my day out tomorrow and get it done. Yeah, we in Ross, second Ross. I told you I was looking for some shoes for Ethan, also a belt for him. We also went to Burlington. I didn't have my camera, I didn't turn my camera on. Anyway, yeah, I haven't been able to find what I'm looking for. But we got some beads. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just have to go to the uh, actual Nike and buy it for him, which is fine. But I, I just could have swore I had seen like real track shoes inside of Ross. Maybe it wasn't Ross, maybe it was TJ Maxx. I don't know. I need some air fresheners for my car because all of my air fresheners are in my, <laughs> my other car. Okay, we're gonna buy a black ice and then the rose thorn. Y'all know rose thorn is my favorite. Where is it? Do they have it? New car scent? No. New car scent is good, but no. The rose thorn is chef's kiss. I need some hangers too. It's like I clear my closet out, I buy more. I clear my closet out, I buy more, and I'm out of hangers again. It makes no sense. Those are pretty. 
This needs to be me very soon, sitting on a beach. Yes, please and thank you. That's pretty too. Okay, we found some hangers. I just got a little 12 pack. I ain't need that much. 12 pack for five dollars. Ooh. Ross got some shit, y'all. I'm just saying. Wow, they got Harry's here. Y'all know I worked with them for like years. I had like a two-year contract with them, but anyway. I don't work with them no more, but when I tell y'all Harry's is the best razor that I think I've ever used, it's so worth it. They sell them at Target, but not for that price. Y'all come here and y'all buy them. That's, that's the deal. Your Harry's razor will probably last like over a year. They just don't get dull. It's the craziest thing. And did I tell y'all my suitcase? I think I did tell y'all. My suitcase is all the way broken, so I need a new one. Okay, y'all, we're at Chick-fil-A now. They gave me a free spicy chicken sandwich to my app, so <laughs> don't mind if I do. Ashton's gonna get her snack as well. Her, what did she order? A peppermint milkshake and french fries? No, don't show me, I look a mess. Girl, you look cute. Anyways, I put the video easy? out today. It's mommy's easy hoodie. They saw it the last video, my love. But you talking about, do y'all like my hoodie? Then you said, don't show me. Hold up. Hello. Virginia, uh-huh. So unfortunately, we no longer have peppermint milkshakes until next winter. Uh, That's what I thought when she said peppermint. I'm like, they still have peppermint milkshakes? <gasps> yeah, she said she repeated it because she didn't hear. I said, can you repeat it? And she said it twice. So, okay. So can we do, do you have strawberry? Okay, we'll take that instead. Thank you. And also, can I get some mayo in the bag? Thanks. No. Can I get a strawberry milkshake? No. She said she no, show me. Oh God, Lord, My Jesus! Like, They've seen you with um. I look like Sonic. No, you don't. You look. Cute. Thank you. Rockstar, rock and roll. Yeah, that's a lot of condiments. Here you go, honey. And you want Chick Fil A sauce? Bam, bam. As I was trying to tell y'all. I released my video today, okay? And in the video, I was telling y'all about how Ethan's art teacher threw away his whole project, gave him a zero for using too much glue. And Ethan said he was never warned about using the amount of glue he needed. It, he was going to get a cardboard, so he needed to use a lot of glue. Anyway, a lot of y'all are teachers that watch me, and a lot of y'all are saying, contact the principal, contact the principal, contact the principal. So that's what I'm going to do. I actually called the school. They were already, I had missed them by 10 minutes. The school closes at 4.20. I called at 4.30. So I wrote myself a note to call back in the morning. A lot of y'all were saying, no, don't accept that. Y'all know me. I'm very unconfrontational. And I was just like, okay, whatever. He'll, when she said he'll have a lot of opportunities to bring it back up, I was like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Y'all were like, no, don't accept that. So baby, I'm not accepting that. I'm calling them tomorrow. Period. Period. Yeah, even though it is art class, it's because just an that's elect my brother. And if you don't contact, I'm going up there and saying that couch should really couch it. <laughs> that kangaroo couch is couch. Don't do that. She's pregnant, baby. That's not nice. I don't know. That's not, no, we don't do that. That's funny. No. You keep Ash that in there too, please. Anyways, like I was saying, <laughs> I'll be calling them tomorrow, so I will let you guys know how that goes. Y'all were even telling me about my car. Y'all were like, y'all need to go up there. You need to contact the head of the insurance company. You need to contact whoever's the owner of the uh, the, the body shop. You, you need to do this. You need to do that. I don't know why I be like so scared to stand up for myself. I don't know. I'm just too much of a... Like, so how long do it take to make a milkshake? Lord. It's hot? It's hot? Uh, you don't want to dip your french fries in the milkshake? I do. You do, right? Mm, let them, so let them cool down a minute. come on with it. Yeah, they do. Mm. Both kids are asleep. <clears throat> and I've started cooking dinner. We just doing a little salmon. And the rice is already cooking in the rice cooker. Child. 
this has been a theme of me cooking and the baby's going to sleep, okay? It's, the only reason why I'm slightly annoyed today, because if they don't wake up to eat, it's really hard to eat salmon a second day because y'all know salmon is one of those, you gotta cook it right. Microwaving shrimp a second day, it makes it kind of chewy and rubbery. And microwaving salmon for a second day, if it's not mixed up or like chopped up into something, like rice or like a like a bowl. If it's not like chopped up within a bowl, eating salmon like this is kind of child. It's just better to eat it the first day. That's that's how I'm putting it. So I think I'm gonna make me a little spinach salad to go with it. Probably saute some spinach for the kids if they wake up. If they don't, it is what it is. Oh, excuse me. I wish I had some good dessert here. I don't have nothing good. I got, I believe it might be some vanilla ice cream in there. I could probably eat a little ice cream for dessert. I don't know why I'm wanting something sweet. Other than that, there's popsicles in there for the kids that I don't eat. We got Oreos in the pantry. I'm not, I'm not big on Oreos unless it's chopped up in my ice cream. I mean, I guess I could do that, a little small bowl. I just feel like dinner is gonna be so light that I'm gonna need something sweet to really like satisfy me. Fun fact about me, my two favorite desserts Pineapple upside down cake, strawberry shortcake. Now I do love other cakes like coconut cake, um, butter cake, tiramisu, coffee cake. But strawberry shortcake, baby, I could eat it anytime, any day. We made regular box macaroni and cheese, but you doctor it up by adding your own cheese to it. And a little, what my Parmesan? And a little Parmesan, so now it's three cheese macaroni and cheese instead of just regular craft macaroni and cheese. Yeah, buddy. Let's try it. Oh, the kids woke up too. Should I do croissants now that the kids are up? Do croissants go with salmon? Finished product, it's done. And this little prissy girl over here wiped all her glaze off of her fish and then chopped it up in her rice. Why you covering yourself up? My hair looks crazy. Oh God. sweater <laughs> this sweater these sweats you are guaranteed to see them at least three to four days out the week okay i have not had coffee i have not had coffee in a minute y'all i am so excited last time i had coffee last time i made coffee chat I don't even remember. So it's been legit over, probably over a week since the last time I made coffee. Last time I had coffee, I had gas station coffee when I was on my trip a few days ago. That don't count, it was good, but it don't count. Gas station coffee, don't count. So on the agenda for today, it's supposed to be kind of like a maintenance, um, Day, I want to get my eyebrows done. I want to get a pedicure. Um, I need to book a facial, not for today, but I need to book a facial for probably next week. I have an appointment to get my lips done again. Y'all know I had didn't get my lips done for two years. 
The first time in two years that I got them done was, it's probably been about eight weeks now, six to eight weeks, probably in November, I want to say. November, December, anyway, somewhere around that time. Um, and you know, you have to build your lips back up. So usually I wouldn't get them another fill until like, maybe like eight or nine months. But because I'm trying to build them back up, I'll go back sooner. So I'm going to do a little top off today and then I should be good. Because y'all know I never really had like massive, massive lips. They were always really full. And which they're good now. They're good now, but um, they could be, they could use like a little bit more here. I'm going to try to do, I'm going to see if they can do like half a syringe. I don't even need a full syringe. We'll see. Yeah. So I've only been to this place once. The place I used to go to, they would hold your syringe for you in a refrigerator. So if you only used like half, you can come back and use the other half later. I don't know if they do that here. I've, I never asked. So I'll find that out. If I have to pay for a whole syringe, I will be using a whole syringe. If not in my lips, then maybe under eye or maybe a little bit here or something. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to figure it out. But anyway, that's on the agenda for today. Um, it's Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. So I am making tacos. Let me thaw it out. Oh, let's thaw it out enough to where I don't have to let it sit out. Okay, and yeah, y'all, nothing special going on, nothing spectacular, nothing fun. Ethan officially starts track today, y'all. I am really an athlete mom. Like, I told Ethan, I'm like, you sure you want to do track? You sure? I thought I seen the light at the end of the tunnel to where I didn't have to do the double pickup for the rest of the school year, but anyway, it is what it is. He said everybody that went to tryouts yesterday, he said he's in the top three of the fastest uh, kids. I knew he was fast because Ethan's always been like a damn little rabbit running around. Am I opening this up wrong? Oh, let me call the school. For district holidays and summer schedule. The district calendar is posted on the front desk. Please press one. For the attendance clerk, press two. For the registrar, press three. Good morning. Um, how do I get in contact with either the seventh grade principal or assistant principal? Okay, we can try the, I'll, I can, you can transfer me to the principal's desk and I guess I'll leave a voicemail, if anything. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, thank you. I don't think I did a good combination with these. It don't taste good. Okay, so the voicemail is left. If they don't call me back by the end of the day, then I will give them a call before they close. It says the school hours are up until 4.20, so I'll call back around 3, 3.45, somewhere up in there, so. Y'all, if y'all have social media, I know a lot of y'all actually don't have social media. I be reading the comments that y'all don't fool with Instagram. I feel you. If this wasn't my job, I probably wouldn't be so invested in social media either. But on the other hand, I do be thinking like, how do some people don't have social media? Like, how do you get your news the old fashioned way? Newspapers actually watching the 6 a.m. news or the 5 p.m. news? Like, I envy y'all. I envy y'all because social media right here would get you addicted. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying like, yeah. But anyways, I was just scrolling through Instagram and if anybody knows, they know last week, the, the headline topic of all of the, the shade room, Hollywood Unlocked, whatever, whatever, we're showing this lady 
who brought her baby in Walmart with just a diaper on. It was like 40 degrees outside and she was in the cold food section. The baby just had on a diaper, but she had on her pants, her jacket, her shoes, you know, and people were recording her and were like, put some clothes on the baby, put some clothes on the baby. And the lady got real defensive. She got upset. She started cussing everybody out. She started twerking, acting a fool. She was in the frozen section. She threw some frozen peas on the baby and then fell on the baby's leg and, he came in here with that jacket on. Yeah, he did. I mean, that baby just had a pimp on. Yeah, he got on. I can't. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't. Yeah, don't do that. Somebody call police. No, what's wrong with you? Somebody call police on her. Who are you? You know, she was just real, it was a hot mess, okay? So that was a Walmart employee who was recording, but it was an older gentleman trying to talk some sense into her. And then it was an older lady who came up with her electric buggy and actually bought the baby some clothes and put a sweatsuit on the baby. But the girl was irate and just real, real upset that anyone even said anything to her talking about mind your business, mind your business. Anyways, fast forward to today. Well, I guess yesterday. The girl lost all of her kids because I guess it wasn't just the one, but she lost her kids to CPS. And so she's now on the internet trying to gain sympathy and basically say the person who recorded her caused more damage than anything because now she's depressed. Now she doesn't know what she was gonna is going to do. Her kids are taken away, X, Y, and Z. But she was in the video twerking, taunting those people, cussing them out, bucking up to them, all because they say you need to put some clothes on your baby. Like, you put some clothes on yourself. Why not put some clothes on that baby before you bring this baby out in 30, 40 degree weather and then shop around in the frozen food section? The baby don't even have socks on, a diaper. That's it. And he was the cutest little boy, y'all. He was so... So cute. Oh my God. I just wanted to pick him up and hug him because you, you hear so many stories of, of child abuse and stuff. It's just scary to what's going on behind closed doors when there's no camera, when that baby's at home with her alone. It's, it's scary. You know it's something not right when a mother can bring their child out in the wintertime in just a pamper. Something's not, something's not right. Not everybody deserves having kids. Like, I be feeling like some women need to go to a, through a mental evaluation before having kids. Like, uh, y'all know how I feel about kids. Kids are my soft spot in my heart. I love children. I do. I love... Why do I feel that little tingle tingle in my fucking eyes? Relax, Jim. <laughs> like... I just love kids so much. I do. I, I I really do. And so I just wish I could protect every baby in the world. But I think I'm like the crazy person. How I am about children are like how white people are about their pets. <laughs> I hope that don't sound too bad. But y'all know it's a, it's a lot of white people out here who love their pets more than humans. <laughs> so, yeah. I just, I love babies. And I just not babies, kids, period. I just wish I could just protect them. And I always just envision my life of adopting kids and tell you. But it's like, on one hand, I want to adopt kids and give them a, a great home. But it's like, then I'm not going to be able to travel and live the life that I want for myself. So it's just like a double-edged sword and it just sucks. But y'all see how I'm getting off topic. Anyway, I was just saying all that to say, she... 
she's just, I just can't believe she's want sympathy now on the internet. And it's like, baby, we saw what you did. We, we saw you. And the girl who recorded her, she said that her reason for recording is because she wishes she could be a mother right now. She, I think she miscarried or the baby. I can't remember. I can't remember. Y'all correct me um, down below how her baby passed. I can't remember if she miscarried or the baby passed shortly after birth or what happened. I feel like the baby was born with some developmental... I don't know. Anyway, um, but the ratchet mama gets online and was like, you have a dead baby. You have a dead baby. I, me personally, when people say the word dead is something about the word dead that I don't like. And I think it's because my mother passed away. I can never say my mom is dead. Her mom is dead. Her daddy dead. Her baby dead. That I don't, I hate that. When you lose something so special and you have any sort of empathy, other people you're not going to say, well, you have a dead baby, so you shouldn't have filmed me. I just feel like once you said that, everything else that came after that, I can't even listen to you no more. Because you trying to gain sympathy from this here Beyonce internet, and you saying she got a dead baby. Oh, Not everybody's going to understand, but using that word when you have lost someone so special to you, like, I never say that when I speak of my mom. My mother passed away. My mom and I did. My mother passed away. I don't say fr my friend's family member did. No, their father passed away. Their aunt passed away. Their grandmother passed away. Anyways, I have no rhyme or reason for why I'm even bringing this up. I, when I see things uh, on social media and my camera is on, then I'm, I'm going to share it with y'all, but... Um, yeah, it's something about using the word dead. I use the word dead when I'm talking about some roadkill, a dead bug, a dead dog, a dead raccoon. Not somebody's baby. So now everything you've said after that, I have no sympathy for you. Yeah, your kids probably will need to be in a better situation while you take some parenting classes and maybe get a mental evaluation and then possibly get your kids back. Maybe, but you just, when she threw them, them frozen peas on top of that baby leg, I'm like, some, what? What am I witnessing? Anyway, it's 1022, child. I did not already uh, mess my day up. My plan today I can't get on a schedule to save my damn life. My plan today was to wake up. My plan starting last night. Let's let's start it last night. My plan starting last night was to be asleep by 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Did that happen? No, it, it absolutely did not. It didn't. Me and my boyfriend was on the phone until 2.15 in the morning, 2.30, something like that. Then once we hung up, of course, I'm scrolling my phone for another 15 minutes. So when I finally do wake up at... My first alarm start going off at 8.20. So 8.20, we try to leave the house around 8.30. So usually the kids are already up getting dressed. So I have like a little 10 minute. They wouldn't know. They were like, oh, we're just waking up. I'm like, oh, Lord. Okay, well, let me know when y'all ready to go. Baby, woke back up at 9. I'm like, why is y'all not ready yet? Then at 9.05, they're like, okay, we ready. But anyway, I didn't have a whole, whole, whole lot of sleep. It was kind of broken up. But my plan, because I fucked up last night, my plan was to wake up this morning, put my gym clothes on, drop the kids off, go straight to the gym from dropping the kids off, then coming back home to wash up and change, and then leaving and getting my maintenance day started, going to the nail shop, and then going to get my lips done, and yeah, so. But at 10, 22, I'm still sitting here. So we're at my appointment. They just brought me back into the room. They didn't take pictures of me this time um, in the little studio area. I don't know why, but yeah, so we're here. I don't know why I'm like nervous today. Y'all know I've been getting lip filler, filler for 
what, six years now? I did take two years off, but six years total. I don't know why, I'm just scared of the pain today. I don't know why I don't wanna. <sighs> yeah. I'm already like kind of sweating and it's not even hot in here. Y'all see my upper lip? I'm sweating. Oh God. It's so crazy when I see some girls get their um, fillers done and they're like, oh, I didn't feel anything. Like, I didn't feel anything. And I'm like, how, Sway? How you ain't feel nothing? Just like when I get my eyebrows uh, microbladed, it's painful. Jennifer says she falls asleep. How? And we go to the same person. I'm like, how? What? <laughs> Y'all not gonna believe who just walked in. <laughs> It was not planned. This was not planned, y'all. <laughs> y'all, literally, I'm sitting in this chair right here and the door opens and she's like, hi. I'm like, how? Out of all the days. And I don't ever take off work. I literally blocked off my schedule to come at this time. This is so <laughs> crazy, y'all. And it's so weird. Like I have something for her. So I have something for her and I was gonna bring it with me today. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to stop by her job. And she's here and I didn't bring what I needed to bring her. It's so crazy. This is so crazy. She was like, I saw the car parked outside, but it's parked in the wrong parking spot. So I just assumed it wasn't you. She's like, then when I signed in, I saw your name. I'm like, yeah, this is weird. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's, it's weird. You know, she, we live like, over 30 minutes away from each other. Yeah, I don't go out. So, though. and she, yeah. So for us to book this on the same day yeah. is just insane. And it's meant for me to bring to my best friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> but y'all, my tongue is numb, so bye. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm done. I wound up getting Botox also. Just right here in the middle, my sister talked me into <laughs> into it she was like it's gonna change your life it's gonna change your life y'all know i've only gotten botox done twice once in 2019 and then i want to say in 2020 or 2021 i can't remember but the only reason i got them those two times i didn't pay for them it was a special get lip filler get botox free and the injector was like you don't even need the botox i said but it's the free it come with it so i want it <laughs> But he said, I don't need it. He said, just do right here for preventative. But he was like, you don't have no wrinkles. You're fine, you're fine, you don't have nothing. So yeah, Botox right in the middle. You can see the effects of Botox after about three to four days. So right now you can still see a little bit of creasing in between my eyebrows like that. That won't be there in the next few days. Anyway, these are the lips. They are gonna go down. For those of you that are gonna say, they're too big, they're too big. They're gonna go down. They're, they're literally swollen. You can tell how red they are. So, yes. His uh, Instagram will be down below or on the screen somewhere. So you guys can book him. Literally the best injector. The best injector I've had. The least amount of pain that I've had. It's, of course, it's an uncomfortable, it's a needle, but this is the least amount of pain I've ever had out of my six years of getting injections, okay? I am still tripping that my sister can't, like, <laughs> that is so crazy to me, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like Houston is such a huge city. She works today, and of all the days and times we at the same time me and then her right at like it's so crazy anyways i did something very stupid i went and got lip filler before i have eaten a morsel of food today all i have had is coffee today that is it i have not had a morsel not a cracker not a crumb okay i really want to go get that almond tuna salad or chicken salad from cheesecake factory with the soup but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to eat Especially not being able to eat off a spoon. Nah, that ain't gonna work today. Eating off a spoon? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I need to get like some popcorn shrimp, some chicken strips, maybe Chick-fil-A nuggets, something I can just place in my mouth. <laughs> oh, Lord. Maybe I'll go tomorrow if, it's, if I'm not in that much pain. But usually, it's the 
the night and the next day where the pain and all the swelling kicks in. And when I say pain, I don't want to scare anybody away from getting filler, especially if this is something you've been wanting to try. When I say pain, I really just mean discomfort. There's a difference between pain and discomfort. Pain is giving birth. That's pain. Pain is getting kicked in the shin, okay? Pain is getting punched in the face. That's pain. Discomfort, I mean a little pinch. You know, that's that's what I mean by discomfort. It ain't real pain. Gotta get these brows done. Y'all, my lips started bleeding. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You said I need to drink some water? It's because I just got uh, lip injections. Yeah, oh my god, y'all, it's bleeding a lot now. Oh my. Okay, we're done. Eyebrows don't look that great because it's weird. They did like a clean sweep of the people that work there. I'm about to find a new nail salon. Like, I've been going there for a few years. The front desk girl who is so sweet, she's gone. The lady who does my eyebrows, she's gone. I see nothing but new flat faces. I see one face that I recognize and he's semi new too he only been there for like six months but the last time I was there was only like three or four weeks ago and y'all got all new people so that must mean they're under like new ownership or management or whatever I don't know but uh Nancy used to do these brows and they used to be like they was cut like perfection uh uh so driving all the way almost 30 minutes I need to but anyway I, I, I need to find a, a nail place closer in especially because it's just pedicure manicure and eyebrows it's not like I'm getting my nails done to where it's real important my toes stay covered up in my sneakers every day so but I still can't believe my lips was dripping like Count Dracula that's never happened before straight in at least I didn't feel it I don't know because it's like why is it right here I thought he only did my border maybe he poked me directly in my lip I don't think he did though because he does it the Russian the Russian technique and that's not poking it right into your lip it's doing like just around the edges so maybe it's, this is just either a bruise or dried up blood or something I don't know but baby, that was embarrassing. How I don't know how long that stuff was already on my lip before I noticed it. I'm wondering why the lady sitting next to me kept looking at me and smiling. And then the uh the tech have the nerve to say, your lips are dry, you need to drink more water. Half of my lips are not dry. And if anybody's lips are that dry to where blood is dripping, that something ain't right. It's a it's a other underlying medical issue. Something ain't right. That ain't just being dehydrated. Cause what? First meal of the day. Popcorn shrimp from Popeyes. I told you guys I just needed something I can just place in my mouth. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to eat the biscuit. So, do y'all eat tartar sauce, or is tartar sauce too close to mayo? Y'all know they say it's a thing where black folks don't eat mayo. My mama ate mayo. Did, wait, hold on. Did my mama eat mayo? Nah, when she had me ordering her sandwiches, she wanted mustard. Mustard and extra onions. My mom didn't eat mayo. Anyway, I eat mayo. My sister eats mayo. Jennifer eats mayo. Ethan and Ashton don't want mayo. The only time they'll eat mayonnaise if it's on a uh, Subway sandwich. Other than that, if it's a burger and I accidentally get mayonnaise, Ashton gonna cry. Ashton gonna cry if mayonnaise accidentally gets on her sandwich. Ethan will thug it out, but yeah. Let me know down below. 
if you black and you eat mayo or if you don't like mayo or tartar sauce. What's up guys, I just got back from the gym. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna eat tacos today because it's Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. This is the fit that I wore to the gym. I got my Boston Burks. I'm supposed to get them during Christmas. I did get them during Christmas, but they didn't fit. So I got the Burks. Got the Nike joggers and the all white tee. I like holding the camera like this. Like even when I'm doing it like this, it looks better like that for me. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna give the camera to mom. Yeah. Ow. Dang, you can see I read my fingers on the camera. That's so good. Dang, that's good camera quality. All right, bye guys. Love y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, it's Taco Tuesday. I just got done cutting up my bell peppers. Cutting my bell peppers. I bought the wrong onion, y'all. Cause I just can't. I can't put a red onion on my tacos. Like I just, I cannot. Absolutely not. So I'm about to grill these veggies. Then, of course, y'all know ground turkey. Then the basic of the basic, y'all know the only cheese I eat is Tillamook cheese, and yeah, that's tacos. I might, we got leftover rice from last night. If the kids want some rice to go with their tacos, some basic white rice, then we're gonna do that. But other than that, I plan on being done with this in about 25 minutes. I'm about sick of these kids falling asleep when I cook. I'm, I'm about sick of it. Every night. Then gonna wake up. Gonna wake up at 11 o'clock at night. Be up till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Get only 6 hours of sleep for school. And then go to bed early again. And miss out on dinner. It's a never ending cycle. Taco Tuesday. <coughs> oh, that didn't come out right. Let's try it again. <clears throat> Taco Tuesday. Yeah. I usually fry my taco shells, but I didn't feel like it today. Ethan's not hungry. He door dashed him some food about three hours ago, so he's not hungry. Ashton is asleep. So I'm eating by myself. Mm. That hurt. Oh. This is going to be a brutal dinner. Oh my God. I'm not going to tell y'all how I just bust my ass in the shower. I'm not going to tell y'all that. <laughs> I'm not going to tell y'all how I'm about to have a big old bruise here tomorrow. I'm, oh my God, I'm about to have a big old bruise from here to here tomorrow. I'm about to have a big old bruise. Oh, this hurts so bad on the side of my calf tomorrow. I'm about to have a bruise on my hip, y'all. My shower, the floor is so slippery. This was literally bound to happen. The floor is so slippery that when I take my showers, I literally inch. I inch like this in the shower because I always feel like, bitch, you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall one day. Like if you're moving too quickly trying to take a really fast shower you're you're going to fall <sighs> yeah i was washing the soap off my back i turn around 
And before I know it, my feet were over my head. Have y'all ever seen in them old Looney Tunes uh, cartoons, Tom and Jerry, when the character would slip on a banana peel and their feet would go up flying above their head? Bitch, that's how I was. My feet flew above my head. I landed on my left hip. And when my feet came down, they swung the door open. I had to put the door back on track. So I'm laying there, pride all shattered, even though nobody saw me, pride all shattered, embarrassed, shower water beating down on my face now, while I'm laid like this, cocked to the side, leg, and the shower door wide open. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad I didn't hit my face or my head because these bruises that I'm gonna have tomorrow will go away in due time. But baby, oh Lord. Uh-uh. So anyways, I'm about to do a skincare routine. I'm not gonna show y'all this. Um, and it's not like a really in-depth one. It's just like my regular degular kind of. Anyways, all right. These are the products that I'm gonna use. Y'all can take a screenshot. I'll link down below what I can. So I'm gonna send a Uber to your place. It's my secret safe. Safe with just you and me. Tell me the trade. This is my favorite mistake. Oh, look in my eyes. Can you find a lie? Do you feel a lie? Look in my eyes. Do you find a lie? Do you feel a lie? Look in my eyes. We don't know what's wrong. Okay, so to finish my maintenance day off, we are doing. <clears throat> I feel like I'm getting a little sick, a little tingle, tingle. It came on like two days ago. It just hasn't developed into a cold yet, but I'm getting more phlegm in my throat as the day goes on. I'm watching this um, transgender girl who I follow on YouTube. It's her transgender prison story. It's so funny. It's not really funny because I can feel her pain. Like I know it's like so messed up what happened to her, but she's even laughing about it while telling the story. Her name's um, Aubrey Banks. So y'all follow her. Her channel it's all it's called All About Aubrey Aubrey All About Aubrey Banks. I think that's how you say it. But anyways, yeah, these are the nails that I'm doing. I told you guys I'm trying to do a little bit. You can't even see longer nails on a regular basis. Even though like these would be considered like vacation nails for me any other time, I'm just trying to get used to a little bit of a longer nail on a regular you know so they're by la looks i got these from dollar tree a long time ago dollar tree nails really suck so these will probably only last for maybe three or four days before they start breaking and tearing i think this days just make you feel so girly you know the only thing that messed me up was my shower <laughs> That shower tried to take a bitch out, okay? Do you hear me? I'm like, oh my God. I should have took a bubble bath. Like that would have been like perfect to add into this, but child. So she was in an Atlanta jail and if she had half of a bottom surgery, she's been castrated, meaning her balls was cut off but she still has the eggplant it just doesn't work from what she's saying and it lowers her testosterone so when she takes her estrogen her estrogen works better so that's why she's castrated she says she's never wanted to get the full bottom surgery because she's never wanted to be a full woman 
she's like, I'm transgender and I'm okay with that. So because she still has her eggplant, they took her out of the women's population and put her in men's population. They were like, if you had the full surgery, you would have stayed in women's. So she was in women's population, I think she said for like a week. And then now they're putting her in men's. That's where the part of the story that I'm on right now. All right, nails are done. It's 1 a.m. I'm going to sleep. See y'all in the morning. Smells like mouthwash. Yes, I did a dose and a half because I'm not the size of a 12 year old. I'm a, I'm a big woman. If the dose that they recommend is for ages 12 and over, that's like me and Ethan being able to take the same dose and it works the same for Ethan who's this tall and 80 pounds. Me who's this tall and 200 plus pounds. So. I always take more than the uh, recommended dose. And that goes for everything, y'all. Big girls, big girls, big girls. If you take a plan B and you're big, you're over 200 pounds, probably over like 180 pounds. Girls, take two. I'm just saying, especially with what's going on with not being able to find clinics, if that's what you believe in you know, um, and you don't have to travel to get things taken care of, take two so you can know that it's really gonna work, okay? Just saying, but I did wake up sick today. I told you guys for the past few days, I've just been feeling that tingle in the back of my throat and behind my nose. Ashton was sick on Sunday and Monday Ethan was sick on Monday and Tuesday. And then now I woke up fully blown sick. It's not that bad. It's just a lot of coughing and phlegm in my throat. Um, no headache, no body ache, no sneezing, no runny nose. Um, just really like coughing. And when I do cough, it's phlegm. So we're dealing with that it's not holding gonna hold me back from doing anything i need to do today i still have a couple errands to run i feel fine it's just that my throat hurts <coughs> right now i'm about to eat me a meal prep and probably a salad i got meal preps y'all already know the meal preps that i buy same 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 this one's called chicken kebab bowl with saffron rice and then a spinach salad. And this is going to be my first meal of the day. Oh, and it has like a yogurt dressing, but it's probably, um, what's it called? Tetra. I forgot. Anyway, child, this is small. This seems like they skimping out on the meat. that's cooking update on my lips this is how they look today i'm not gonna mess with the scabs until i decide to leave the house because y'all know how it is if you take a scab off too early it will start re-bleeding and it's like you just set yourself back another day or two so yeah but to me they really didn't get that much bigger they don't feel any different than yesterday i don't have any bruising surprisingly 
and yeah Botox won't kick in for another few days so yeah so I can still do that this will probably be gone what's it I got it done yesterday Tuesday by Friday by Friday you shouldn't see that anymore if y'all didn't know Botox is not immediate it takes a few days to settle in Onion crisp for the salad. I don't buy croutons anymore. I only do onion crisp. <clears throat> it gives you the same vibe. I just need a little crunch. And then Panera Bread, Fuji Apple. This doesn't really go. This flavor doesn't really go with my meal. Um, I would prefer like a balsamic. But I don't have any. So we're using this. Looking, I make the, my salad. I make it the same every time. The only thing I might change up, I might put a little bit of turkey lunch meat on there. You know, to give it a little razzle dazzle. I might use some little pieces of chicken, but we straight veggie today because I got my meal prep. I do not like cold salads. I like room temperature salads. This is a little bit too cold for my liking. It almost smell like ranch. Yeah, it's like a yogurt sauce with... It has a name, and I don't know why I can't think of the name, because it this tastes like what I be getting at Kava. I don't know why I want to call it Tetrazzini. Tetra. But I know that's wrong. Me and Tanya are supposed to go out tonight. Depending on how I feel. Y'all know... At least with me, what I've noticed with me and my kids, if we're sick, it heightens at night. So even though I could feel I'm sick, I still feel okay, like I can do whatever. Tonight might be a different ball game. And when I woke up this morning at 8 a.m., I was like, I need to just send her a courtesy text. Like, hey girl, I woke up sick. Let's play it by ear. I'll let you know. And I didn't do that. And she just texts me saying, hey girl, the weather's good. We still on for tonight? Oh my God, are y'all watching Griselda? I don't wanna do any spoilers. I don't wanna talk about it just yet. All I have to say is, if you are not watching Griselda, what are you doing? It's only six episodes. It's a limited series. Sofia Vergara plays Griselda Blanco. It is very good. Very good. It's about 50% facts and 50% entertainment. There are definitely a lot of scenes where you're like, that's a cool ass scene, but ain't no way that happened. And that didn't happen. That didn't happen. But it's very entertaining. To know that she was a female boss, the first female boss, and how she just worked her way up and grew her respect with the men. But she was a ruthless, she was a ruthless one, baby. Mm-hmm. Supposedly, the son is suing because I guess it's an unauthorized movie and y'all know how it goes when these movies are made and the family gets mad what's the right thing to do i mean it's hollywood they told a story that's widely documented you can go on google and read about your mother they just put it on film i i don't know um i know so many movies have been made about tina turner so many movies have been made about the jacksons Pretty much everybody who's a, some type of icon, whether you're famous or infamous, it, it, a movie's been made about you. So, but yeah, they said that he's suing. And fun fact, he was on a VH1 reality show called 
Married to the mob? Hold on. Or was it mob wives? I don't know. Not mob wives. Okay, because I used to watch mob wives. What was he on? <laughs> cartel crew. Okay. I never got into cartel crew. It came out um, some years ago. It says, Griselda Blanco's youngest son in 2019, he and his wife starred in VH1 reality series, Cartel Crew. Marcos, Michael said that he survived two assassination attempts. The show ran for three seasons before it was canceled. I watched maybe like two episodes of that. I couldn't get into it. It, it was just, I couldn't get into it. Yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> I have my own personal reasons why I didn't care for it, but he was on them. If y'all watch that, so he's the one suing. I don't know if he's suing Netflix or if he's suing the director. I don't know who he's suing, but yeah. I mean, it's kind of, they don't show her in a bad light. Like they use freaking Sofia Vergara. You know, Griselda, if you look at pictures, she wasn't really an attractive woman. At least the pictures, most of the pictures that they show of her on Google, they show her older in life to where, you know, she's just not as vibrant looking. But to you, Sophia Vergara, someone who is classically beautiful, to play your mother, played her exceptionally well. I'm only three episodes in, okay? What is there to hate about it? She treated her kids very well. She was a boss. Yeah, she committed um, a few red rums. Let's put that backwards, you know. Some trigger words on here. You, <laughs> we'll get the videos flagged. Yeah, she did commit some red. Other than that, I don't think she was portrayed in a bad light. I mean, she was a, not a good person, but it's like, what, what you mad about? I think as well. Y'all need to watch it. It's very good. It's very entertaining. On Netflix. Well, y'all. The sickness has really kicked in. Um, I have been asleep today more than I have been awake. That is crazy. I have slept more hours than I have been awake. <sighs> the headache has now kicked in. I have pressure behind my eyes. My nose is running now. And to top everything off, bitch, Aunt Flo started. I said, why now, why today? <sighs> I had plans with Tanya. They have been canceled. I was supposed to run errands today. Did not do that. I am so glad I made those tacos yesterday. And the kids didn't eat, because guess what? They ate them tonight. I have been in bed all day long. It's 7.30 right now. And I think I'm about to go back to sleep. And that's how I feel. I think I'm about to go back to sleep. So I apologize, y'all. But I thought we was going to end this vlog out like cute. Me and Tanya going to happy hour. Getting $2 lamb chops from the address and going to R&B night tonight. We had a whole little plan. And baby, my body said otherwise. So, and y'all know I don't get sick. Like, when do y'all ever hear me talking about, oh, I was sick this weekend or I was sick or I'm getting a little cold? Never. I get sick like twice a year, which is so crazy. Well, anyways, if I get some energy later, which I doubt, because I, I slowly feel the decline. Like this morning when I first picked y'all up, I was feeling okay, like I could run errands. Mm-mm. Everything slowly, 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 slowly going down. <coughs> See? Mm. Mm. Oh man. All right, y'all. Well, I 
I think that's probably the end of the vlog. That's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed what I did do. And yeah, love y'all. Bye. Update, update, update. Because I didn't show it in the video, y'all. I had wound up calling the school twice, never getting a hold of nobody. So I had wound up emailing the principal, the counselor, and CCing Ethan's art teacher. So she had already given him an assignment to make up for that. She told him he can redo it at home or do a writing assignment. And I'm like, I sent this long email and Ethan didn't tell me that she had already rectified the situation. And she didn't tell me she had already rectified the situation. I, anyways, yeah. So it has been taken care of. Ethan decided to just do the writing portion. He's just going to write about a famous um, artist, which actually he did it. He did it last night already. But it's just like, why well, I had to send this email, CC everybody, and y'all done already fixed it, and neither one of y'all done told me. Anyways, y'all, so that's fixed. That's done. Um, my baby would be back up to having 100 in art because, I mean, it's art. How do you fail art? How do you even get a B in art? That's the thing. But anyway, yeah. All right. Love y'all. I am sick still. It is the next day. I don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice. I am on all these different medicines, pain medicine. I've had fever. I had night sweats. I was sweating during the day. Headache. Pressure behind my eyes. Throat. Yeah, your girl's out of there. So, anyways, let me get this video out to y'all. I love y'all. And see y'all on the next one. Toodles, my noodles.